T. Clark here with the 2019 AP Computer Science A FRQ response 3B. This question wants us to write the method is balanced, which returns true when the delimiters are balanced and returns false otherwise. The delimiters are balanced when both of the following conditions are satisfied, otherwise not balanced. So the two conditions are, while transversing the array list from first to last, there is no point at which there are more closed delimiters than open delimiters at or before that point. And then the total number of open delimiters is equal to the total number of closed delimiters. So we check that at the end. So we have an object where the delimiter is sup and close is slash sup. So here are the different examples. So if I have an array list, sup, sup, slash, sup, slash, slash, that'll be true because the first one matches the last one, second one matches the second to last one. Oh, I know this one matches this one. This one matches that one. So basically, if I'm counting, uh, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to count up. So I start at 0, then I add 1. Add 1, so it's 2. Subtract 1, so it's 1. Add 1, 2. Subtract 1, back to 1. Subtract 1 to 0. And at the end, it will be 0. If I work on an example 2, if I add 1, I get 1. Add or subtract 1, I get 0. Then I subtract 1, I get negative 1. So condition 1 is violated. Here, same thing. If I just subtract 1, it will be negative. And then the last one, add 1, positive, add 1, 2, subtract 1, 1. At the end, it will be 1. So I'm going to count up if it's a beginning open del. And I'll count down, subtract, if it's a closed del. If it's ever negative, that means it won't work. And then at the end, it should be 0. It means they're balanced, added and subtracted the same amount. So I'll say set up my tally to be 0. I'm going to loop through loop through my array list. So I need to get the array list delimiters dot size. Okay, if the delimiter current one, so delimiters.getI, if that string equals the open delimiter, I will add one to the tally. Else, I'm going to subtract one from the tally. And again, I can um, assume that it only contains open closed delimiters. That way I can just use if else. If it wasn't only valid, then I'd have to do another if statement uh, if it was closed def, closed del. And then inside the for loop, if at any point there's a condition one, if the tally is negative, negative means less than zero, I'm going to say it's false. So I'm looping through adding one or subtracting one, depending on if it's an open del or else if it's a closed del. And then if it's negative, that means uh, it might be negative even before I'm done. So inside the for loop, I want to return false. And then the last condition is a total number of delimiters match open and closed. So let's say, check to see if it's zero. So tally equals equals zero will return will be true or false. And I just return that. I could do a whole if statement if tally equals zero, return true, else return false, but this is a little bit faster, more concise. So again, this question you need to use array lists. So I need to have the get and the dot size. And then I since the delimiters are all strings, I need to do dot equals and open delel. Remember, open del is from the first page, that um, instance variable, which is a string for the whole class for all four or however many pages. So that's the 2019 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 3B.